Hi everyone, um, I wanted to share my altered mousetraps. Um, this is for um, Tina's Cricut Create altered mousetrap swap that she's hosting. And my partners are Ashley, who is chronic scrapper, and um, Roxana, who's bipolar scrapbooking. And I'm supposed to send mine to Ashley, and then Ashley is supposed to send hers to Roxana, and Roxana had to send hers to me. And I already received the mine. Um, thank you, Roxana. I love them. And then this is um, one of the first ones that I made. And this one is for Ashley. And I hope that she likes it. Um, Ashley told me that she likes um, uh, Shabby Chic. And I also love Shabby Chic, but I haven't really made a lot of Shabby Chic um, things. So it, this was actually very fun. Um, and a little bit intimidating, I have to say, but once I, you know, I got into it, um, I really started having a lot of fun. Um, and then, like I said, this one is one of the bigger, um, mousetraps. And, um, so I used the, for the paper, I used the Prima Divine collection. And, um, I really like this blue, um, paper and it has like some little angels on the back and so I really liked it and then I use one of the images from the paper collection it's kind of looking yellowish I don't know my, my light it's not that good um, but um, I stuck the image to this little piece of wood um, the little square wood um, shape that I had and then I um, glued this little pearl trim around it and then I put glossy accents to it and let me see if I could show it to you and then I sprinkled some of my home um, glimmer uh, I mean not glimmer um, my home glitter mix I sprinkled uh, a little bit on, on the image also and I also sprinkled some of the glitter all around the um, border of the um, of the mouse trap, so I wanted a little bit of glitter. <laughs> um, then I used this really pretty um, trim down here. It's kind of dark, um, and it has this really nice gold um, trim on the border. So I thought that was so cute. And I also put a flower, a blue flower that matched the paper, so it looked really cute. And then I put some diamond dust on it and some flowers from recollections and I just put some paint on it to make it more, look more shabby cheek I made it a beautiful stick pink over here and I put pearls and recollection pearls like sticker pearls here and up here uh, I also put this really nice trim up here with um, some of the this pearl trim and I also put pearl trim all around the um, the mouse trap, and the reason I put this um, trim here is because I wanted to cover this big um, piece of metal piece from the from this part. Um, I just didn't like it since this one is big. It was just this part was too big, and I didn't like how it looked. Then I put this really nice feather and um, a nice little bow here, and then these tags are also part of the paper collection. I just you know cut them and she could take them out if she wants to and right on the back I also stuck this really pretty pretty um angel on the tag and this one was this angel was gold and I painted it um white and I put some glitter on his wings and then I put this little um piece of ribbon pink piece of ribbon so she can hang it put a little flower on the back so this is how it looks on the back it's just I, I painted it um, like a nice cream color and then this is all the pearl trim around it so I think it turned out really cute I hope that it's shabby chic enough um, and then I also made this really pretty um, let me see if I could grab it with my other hand and try to show it to you guys this nice like charm here um, with beads yeah 
that chain I also put some um, white paint on the chain so that it looked a little bit more shabby chic and I wanted to tone it down and then I just put all these pretty um, beads to kind of go with the um, with the mouse trap there it's not focusing sorry there So I think it turned, this one turned out really cute. Then the other one that I made is one of the smaller ones. And again, um, I had a lot of fun and I was trying to give that shabby chic look. Let me try to take this one out here for a moment. Okay. And for this one, I also put, um, I use um, this really nice paper from um, also the Prima collection, but this one is the, uh, the Fairy Rhymes. And I use this, um, key, like, uh, this paper had, like, different keys. You can see part of the key there on the back. And then I wanted to put this really nice key here, and I put, like, white um, paint to tone it down, and again, like, to make it more, like, shabby chic or vintage, I don't know. Um, and I painted this part here also with white paint um, and then put some really nice cream pearl trim around it and then some really cute um, trim with some iridescent like colors or trim around it and um, what else um, okay let me see then I put this recollection flower and these flowers over here this is actually from one of those flowers from the flower section of Michael's those like how do you call these are like fabric I don't know and I just took the flowers apart and folded them and put them on these corners and then I put a little bit of white to make it you know more shabby and then these flowers I made myself these ones over here I made myself with my little punch flower punch um, so I made these little ones and then this one and this one I also made um, with like these little flowers from Recollections and I put some diamond dust on these flowers also and more pearls around it and this is a really nice little like embellishment here and um, then I put this little butterfly here and this butterfly actually I received from Roxana when she sent me her um, altered mouse traps. She had sent me a little baggie of goodies and there was this butterfly and it was perfect for this project. I was in the middle of doing this project when I received hers and so this butterfly went perfect. The colors, everything was perfect for this project. So thank you Roxana and more recollections bling up here. And they work, um, they actually work. Um, uh, <laughs> they do work. So, um, you know, she could use them um, to put something that she wants to. Then I put this pearl trim up here so that she can um, hang it. And I also made this really pretty, um, like, charm, I guess. And I put all these really pure, pretty um, beads um, to coordinate the... Um, the mouse trap, um, and this is the back, and this is the paper that I used. Uh, the keys. That's why I, I chose to put like a big key over here, and you can see that key there too. So, like I said, I had a lot of fun um, doing this, and um, yeah, I hope that Ashley likes them. Um, so I'm going to send them out tomorrow. Um, when I put this video, she probably already, ha um, already has them because, um, I want it to be a surprise for her. So I'm not going to post the video until she has them. But, um, yeah, I'm so happy that I made this. Um, and thank you, Tina, um, for, you know, this kind of challenge because, um, it was a challenge to do this. It's my first time altering these little um, mousetraps and it was so much fun. Um, so 
thank you again um, for for hosting this swap and here are both of them so you can see um, the difference of the big one and the small one this is like really really huge it's even bigger than my hand um, it's even taller than my hand so I'm sorry about my nails they're super horrible I was trying to take um, my nail polish off but um, once again there they are and I had a lot of fun so thank you Tina and Ashley um, they're gonna be on your way and I hope that you like them alright guys thank you for watching and um, take care bye